much for stopping by. I appreciate you visiting my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a very easy pink flower on a trifle bowl, or triple bowl, however you pronounce it. This is a nice bowl to use for layered desserts, layered salads. You could even use this as a centerpiece, fill it with water after you've painted a beautiful design on it, get some floating candles, cut some fresh flowers, put it all together and you have a beautiful centerpiece. I'm going to get started today with a three quarter inch scruffy brush. This is a plaid brush, a number 12 Royal Aqualon Filbert brush, and a fine liner brush from Westonia, which is actually a fingernail brush. Paints I'll be using are Thicket and Heavy Green. These are going to be the leaf colors. Then I'm going to be using Wicker White, Real Brown, Moon Yellow, Magenta, and Butler Magenta. This one, this particular one, I don't know that they actually make that anymore. I'm not positive on that. So if they don't, obviously with what I'm doing, you can use any colors that you want to, but these are the colors I'm using as an example for this video. All right, again, this is a very easy flower. If you're new to my channel, I create tutorials, painting tutorials for people trying to make them easy so that if you're new to painting, you will be very comfortable trying to do these or to create and paint while you know using my techniques or this technique not necessarily that they're mine but uh, using the techniques that I'm using and sharing with you in these videos. So what I'm doing first is just using my filbert brush the number 12 to base coat my very simple flower and just using the wicker white as the base I could use something else, but I'm starting with this. I am going to go around the side of each petal. And if you want to paint and be, cautious, I guess, aware or, or um, of the light source, you know, feel free to do that. If you don't really care and you just want this color to be on all the sides going the same direction you know feel free to do it that way as well and it's really up to you whatever whatever makes you happy when you're painting is what you need to do again with these tutorials just keep in mind I do like to share and want them to be easy for you to feel like you can be successful in creating your own, whether you're just updating your home or you, know, you want to sell, you know, practice and sell things that you paint, that you update with your painting, it's up to you. Just don't be afraid to do it. Practice, practice, practice. Alright, so then I'm just going to go back over with some white and then kind of do some blending just want to make it somewhat interesting right and you when you're doing this you can work you know work with the colors until you get get them looking just the way you want them or you can just go through it quickly and and add the different colors and move on. Last time I did this I forgot that I had my lighter color kind of switched them around a little bit. There's different ways too that you can add the light, you know, distinguish the light source and make one side definitely darker than the other. Sometimes you can just add some color to the top, the bottom. Not necessarily from one side to the other like what I just did. I'm just 
just kind of doing some light strokes and notice that I am going from the out to the in pulling from the out part of the the petal towards the center but just with this part just gently going over it and hopefully you can see if you have any problems viewing my videos please let me know I am a left-handed painter if you haven't noticed that already you may have to start your designs in a different direction than what I'm doing in order to you know to do it you just don't realize until you're trying to learn something or teach something that it does make a difference which hand you're using some people can do both. I have dogs that want to get down to the basement with me. I'm not sure if that means we're going to have a storm or what. I know it is raining, which we could really use. All right, so I'm going to stop with this here. I'm going to go to the scruffy brush and double load it with the real brown and the moon yellow I don't know if you can see here just like that you can put the paint on thicker here. All right. I like this center. Just tap, tap, tap the center in. And then I'm going to take this brush, a nail brush, dip it into my magenta and do some veining on the, the actual leaf petals of the flower. Flower petals, not leaf petals. Haven't done any leaves yet, right? Get those painted in. I think these just give the flower some extra interest. All right. Very simple to do with this with this brush too. All right. And again, on this project, I'm just going to do a simple flower, single flower for you. If I were to paint this and be using it for, like, say, the um, centerpieces, I would paint all around it because I'd want it to look pretty no matter what direction it was going in. All right, so then... The next thing I'm going to do, it must be going to storm. My dogs are really trying to get down here. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is just do some simple leaves. Sorry if you can hear my husband in the background. Anyways, the simple leaves that I'm going to do, and for some reason with this, I'm having a hard time getting this to be more opaque, but I'm basically using the same brush as I created the petals with for the flowers. But I'm kind of just doing them like, I want them to be thin, like just a basic one stroke flowers or leaves, with simple one stroke leaves. And you can do where you have the green and the light green and the dark green and together like that. It's easier to do a, a thin little uh, branch with the different type of brush or you can do it just like I did this one where you have the greens the dark and the light green all going in the same direction just kind of layered on top of each other whereas like this one 
because it's kind of transparent, it's kind of hard to see. But let's go over this direction and see if I can show you again what I'm talking about. So like on this one, I can go like this, create one, reload, come back over here and do it like that, and then pull it. So both of my greens are going in the same. I have the light on the top, or the bottom, and the, the dark on the top. Or, I'm not really messing this up, or I can go, say I have my dark one on top, I can turn my brush so that I'm having more of the light in the center, and then the dark on the bottom. Get the gist? just another way to create a neat leaf and go the other direction with it but they're just very simple leaves again if I were using it if I were doing this other than showing you it as a demo I would use a nicer brush to do the vining you know the veins and stuff or you can just use this as a simple filberts are fun fun too to do little leaves with and just you know do your little veining from there. Like I said it's not not as crisp as I would typically do but but you get the gist of it right on these you can just do the long kind of leaves. Like I said I get kind of crazy with leaves but you get it right you get it. And I would, I would do more flowers. Like I said, I wouldn't just do one little flower or one big flower in the front and then call it a day. I would be doing partially open, partially closed, whatnot throughout. But just so you get the get the idea, grab something very simple, very simple flower, paint it on anything. Doesn't have to be gloss, but it's just a design that I feel like anybody who's learning how to paint can paint. Alright, so that's it for now. If you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Share this video using the share button underneath with any of your uh, social networks with all your friends and family. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post something new. Alright, until the next one, have a good one. Mm -hmm.